Hello and welcome to the video Supreme Controller Annotation Examples with me Nam Ha Ming from Code Java.net. In this video, I'd like to share with you what the controller annotation is in Supreme Framework and when it is used with some code examples. You know, the controller is a class uh, level annotation in Supreme Framework. We use the controller annotation to indicate that the annotated class has the role web controller in Spring MVC, and the web controller is responsible for handling requests from clients. And the controller is usually used in combination with handler methods annotated using the request mapping annotation. Let me show you an example in action. So you see I have a Java Spring project here and let me create a new class main controller and we use the controller annotation to indicate that this class has the role of a web controller you see import the controller annotation from the package or dot spring framework dot studio type okay and it is usually used in a combination with handler methods here i code a very simple handler method that shows the home page show home page and use the request mapping annotation with the uh, mapping URL is empty to indicate the home page uh, of the application and I return a logical view name which is indexed okay and then I create a new HTML file under templates directory name index and uh, write something here the title of the page home page and some HTML code in the body okay that's a very simple example of using controller annotation to indicate that a class acts as a controller in the Spring framework. Now let me start this Spring Boot application. Okay, you see the application has started successfully on port number 8080, context path empty. Okay, now let me test in the Chrome browser. You see, I see the content of the home page. Welcome home page. That means the controller is uh, working. And know that you can specify a logical component name uh, as a parameter in this uh, controller annotation, uh, like this uh, primary controller. You see a logical component name is optional okay and note that the controller annotation is a specialization of um, component annotation that means uh, you can also use the component annotation instead and it's still working you see but uh, semantically, you should use the controller annotation to indicate that the role of the class is a web controller. You see. And that's uh, what the controller annotation is about and how to use it in a Spring application. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.